I think Forrest Gump made a, a little announcement before our show about not recording our show, but we have a very strict policy about that. What is Please it? Please disregard that whole announcement, okay? Uh, we actually want to be the Grateful Dead of the cruise ship industry. So let it rip, Tater Chip. We'd like to see ourselves all over YouTube tomorrow if the internet on the ship didn't cost like $100 a minute. <laughs> so without further ado, everybody, our first show of 2012. <laughs> I gotta know who we're playing for, okay, before we go any further. Does anybody in the audience remember our grandparents, Ozzy and Harriet? Few people? Okay. Do we have any 50s, 60s, and 70s music fans? Any Ricky Nelson fans in the crowd? All right. Important question. Does uh, any 80s rock fans, anybody remember the two of us when we look like hot Swedish chicks? A couple, okay. Now this show is kind of fun for us. Uh, my brother Gunnar and I have sold six million records to uh, people who had no idea who our dad Ricky Nelson was. Our dad was our best friend though. We lost him when we were about 18 years old. He sold 230 million singles, 60 million albums in his life. He's in the top five of all time selling recording artists. But the thing that's coolest about him was that uh, he was just the nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. Probably the last guy that would do a, a, a show kind of, a, I don't know, waving his flag. So he had twin sons that get a chance to do that for him. And we have the world's greatest home movies. 435 episodes of Ozzy and Harriet to cut back and forth to. crazy hair actually was Bob Dylan, who didn't leave the house. Our neighbor from next door, we called him Uncle George, he was so sweet. For a year he lived next door and used to come over and listen to records with our dad, it was actually George Harrison from the Beatles. And our babysitter, when she wasn't uh, with her own band or doing her solo work, was Mama Cass Elliot from the Mamas and Papas. We were hungry for years. <laughs> it's okay, she would have thought it was funny too, you can laugh. We were on the road, our sister, Tracy, she's an actor, she called us up, she was doing uh, on Broadway, the, the Broadway production of Grease, and she was watching television backstage and said, hey, you guys are a final Jeopardy question. It was, which was the only family in history to have three successive generations of number one hit makers? They guessed the Wilsons, which was wrong. They're friends of ours, so it's okay. 
But uh, it was kind of neat because our grandfather, of course, had number ones in the, the 30s as a big band leader at Poplin, and then us. And it's so nice that we get a chance to kind of go from there to a segment of our show where we're going to play two number one Ricky Nelson songs back to back. And before we. <laughs> showing up with nothing but charts and a 30 minute rehearsal and we steal the shit band. So I think these fellas behind us deserve to get introduced. What do you think? Yeah? I had to write it down phonetically because I'm blonde. Okay, so here we go. On the keyboards, everybody from Boston. That's Adam Shoemate there. From Indianapolis, Indiana, on the drums, Mr. Edward Ely. Blown on the tenor sax tonight, everybody from Chicago, Illinois, the Windy City, that's Josh Greenberg. And I should probably introduce my twin brother. He looks a little bit like Ellen DeGeneres, but what does that say about me then? That's Gunnar Nelson, everybody, on the telecaster tonight. Thank you, thank you everybody for coming to our show, Burning Up the Fender Bass and the Master of Ceremonies, my big brother by 45 minutes, Matthew Nelson, everybody. Yeah, we're twins. Everybody was 45 minutes. Yep, he was a breach, and uh, that's why they gave him the name Gunner. It just worked out that way. <laughs> Good twin, evil twin. We'll get more into that later on. All right, so... I think we'll do a little better. Let's try again. It's all right now. Yeah, I learned my lesson well. Here we go. You see you... You know, we hope you guys have had a, a good time. Before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, big hand for the band that joined us tonight on stage, everybody. Thank you, fellas. Well done. Thank you very much. And uh, we do get a chance. It's kind of a tradition for us. We never saw our father say no to an autograph ever in his life. And uh, we keep that tradition going. We meet everybody that wants to meet us after the show. We brought a CD of this show. The reason why I say it's not only the song that you've heard, but the one you're going to hear last is on the CD. We get a lot of requests for it after we sing it. Uh, it's great. We'd love to sign it for you. Put it on your seat pass because it's like not spending any money until the last night. It's great. Uh, I want to apologize in advance too because only half the CD showed up. We actually took Delta here, which stands for Don't Expect Your Luggage to Arrive. <laughs> I had that very experience. Okay, for 45 back, they should guarantee your bags get there. That's just me. I don't know. I don't know.